Hello guys, so welcome to another day. Today is Friday and we wanted to go for uh, uh, climbing but we came there late. The tour started at 2 o'clock and we came there like half past 2. So we booked it for tomorrow. So tomorrow we're gonna go climbing at 2. And today we're just gonna hike to the viewpoint and, and maybe to the Condor place. So maybe you can remember we're descending down here the other day. It was already it was already dark, I think. And now we are standing up the same way. And hopefully we can descend some other way. We'll see. So here we go. So Ecuador, the country of thieves and barbed wire fences. Not the good representation of the country, this shit. and we just got to the crossroads from where we came before but now we're not gonna go the same way up but we're gonna continue up there to the viewpoint should take maybe five minutes and then we're gonna see what's going on This is it, Bella Vista. The view. You can see all the banners. We are right above the waterfall now. The waterfall starts down here. So now, now the path got really jungly and bushy with lots of trash on the ground seems like this used to be a, like a river and uh, now we're just gonna connect to the road and keep going more so from Bella Vista viewpoint we decided to go more up along the main road and there was a little path created by the river so it's quite bushy and um, lots of obstacles on the way with uh, trash and stuff um, but you can look on maps.me and follow the path more up so it's four o'clock and we just came from down here the bad path don't recommend to go here and now we have to go on the right i guess by the main road it's connecting from there Okay, we connected to the main road and now we are continuing up here. This road is going a little bit longer following the main road and after that we're gonna head down. So right now we're going to like a little canyon and I'm not sure this is like naturally made by some river or they digged it out I think we're again walking to the two properties <laughs> it's kind of cool but I wish Ecuadorians didn't lock every shit up and put fences everywhere okay. Now we got to some 
kind of community, skulls. There's a, seems almost like a village here. I don't know. Should go a little bit more. And uh, I think Casa de Arbol is just here somewhere. No? and we, descend, we decided to descend down because I need to practice for uh, longer hikes um, the descent especially and uh, we wanted to go to the Centro de la Condor or something like that but it was more up and I don't think we would have time to go all the way up there and down so we kind of in a hurry and now the path is pretty muddy so I think good that we descended this way. So here we go. That's how I would see. These are going slower. Voilà. So we're gonna keep going this way and this is how we went the other day. So we had to get out of the way of these mountain bikers because there was some local race here and it was pretty technical at this part, uh, really rocky and the first guys were just flying we actually got really scared when, when they were passing us so mountain biking is really great sport and i want to do more of it in the future So up on this hill in front of us there is Las Antenas where I was uh, running the other day and down on the left is the statue of the Virgin uh, where we are hiking to Casa de Arbol the other day. We're still going on this path and we, it's not still descending much. We have a lot to go down to the banyos. So here we go to the, the viewpoint of Virgin, so we go this path and then remember those stairs when we're going to Casa del Arbol, so that's where you get. So you can see it's a volcanic soil, it's really black and really fertile as well. So what we liked about Banos is that all the hikes are pretty much walking distance like in Quito like uh, the hikes were like pretty far it depends where you live you know you have to take a Uber or taxi and here you just walk away walk out from your apartment and 
you're on the trail in five minutes. So that's really cool. Um, also good for trail running. And on the so we explore pretty much most of the trails on this side. And now we're gonna explore the other side. I was just running there once, but there are many more trails over there to explore. Okay, it's 5.52. We're almost down in Banos. So we just need to buy some food for dinner and for breakfast tomorrow. And that's it for today. Thank you much for watching. And as always, stay healthy and stay adventurous.